sunset, and the work of our night fighter pilots begins. While they enjoy a last few minutes rest, mechanics are preparing their aircraft, checking every detail of the deadly defiance. Armorers load up with ammunition, hundreds of rounds of cartridges to feed the Browning machine guns mounted in the power-operated turret. Actions speak louder than words. This is where we came in, and this is where they go out. They've got to see a man about a job. The job is to go up, search out, and shoot down marauding Nazi bombers. And the man they see is the all-wise briefing officer. To adjust their eyes to night conditions, pilots and gunners wear darkened goggles for a while before the takeoff. As night blankets the aerodrome, a formation of fighters takes off, piloted by those almost nerveless mortals who have come to be known as cat's eyes. With 1,030 horsepower in front of each of them, they head for the lighter regions above the clouds. Into the moonlight over Britain they roar, seeking out their prey. Stalking them like the superhuman hunters that they are, the men who see in the dark are striking terror into the hearts of the raiding Huns. Death strikes at the swastikas by night. At any moment, a hail of bullets may crash out from nowhere, and another Nazi plane will leave a red scar across the night sky. 